Less than 12 weeks before Election Day, the federal agency that oversees voting says it won't have time to check all the new machines states had planned to use. Some states have already unplugged their new touchscreen technology and turned back to paper ballots. And as Tony Guida reports, others are getting increasingly nervous. When Americans vote November 4th to choose a new president, their confidence their vote will be counted might depend on where they live. More than a third of the voters in this country will be voting in an unverifiable way. New Jersey Congressman Rush Holt is talking about touchscreen voting machines with no paper backup. Fourteen states will be using them this fall. In addition, no touchscreen voting system has yet been certified to be free of flaws by the federal commission required to do that. The commission tells CBS News that rigorous new standards, as well as a backlog at testing laboratories, are responsible. In the past five years, states spent $2 billion of taxpayer money on new voting technology, much of it for touchscreen machines. Now states are abandoning them. Florida, whose infamous hanging chads eight years ago began the rush to touchscreen voting, will have a whole new system this November, paper ballots optically scanned. Iowa and New Mexico are dropping touch screens too. Maryland will get rid of them in two years. What has happened since Florida 2000 is we've taken a, a problem that was uh, a disaster for that election and made it exponentially worse. But ES&S, the nation's leading manufacturer, says touchscreen voting machines have proven to be accurate, reliable, and secure time and time again. Nevertheless, states are preparing for the worst. Ohio has ordered enough paper ballots for a quarter of November's electorate. If there's a machine failure or a power outage or some kind of misprogramming with the machine, it will enable people to keep voting. But machine failure is not what worries the head of the government agency that oversees voting. I think the equipment's going to be fine. What keeps me up at night are the other issues. These issues, voters will be dealing with unfamiliar technology and new election laws in many states. And their ability to vote will hinge on brand new registration databases that may not be ready in all states. And that, the widespread expectation for heavy voter turnout in this November's election could prove to be a nightmare. Anthony? Not again, we hope, Tony. Tony Guida, thanks.